Okay, so I decided to brush out my hair. It's so nasty. It was in like five huge dreads and I lost a lot of hair by brushing it out. Um, <laughs> my hair is just not fun. It's just so, it's a mess. Um, but I got it to brush out and all the oils and stuff kind of helped. Uh, relax it and um, so I'm gonna put some coconut oil in it too I know there's a lot of oil in it but to help with all this situation okay so I am now covered in coconut oil I went through a bunch I just bleh, almost slipped out put a bunch in a bowl and then get it warm in my hands and put it through especially getting the ends because I don't get haircuts because I cut my own hair because welcome to my channel where I do everything myself. Um, I'm just gonna leave it on for like 15 minutes and then wash it off. And maybe, I don't know, do like a wet look Instagram picture because I think it looks cool. Okay, I just spent too long of a time taking pictures. Um, so I'm gonna wash this out, wash my hair. Um, it's boring. How do people vlog when they don't leave the house? This is like, the title of this video is gonna be how to vlog when you're agoraphobic. Hey. That used to literally be me. That's not a joke. Literally me. Fun. I don't know why. I'm the absolute worst at getting freaking conditioner and shampoo out of my hair. I don't know that it's so dry that it just, I'm not good at it. I'm about to go around two. But while I was in the shower, I thought the perfect thing for this vlog to be would be maybe me telling you guys how I style my curly hair because I think it's hard when you have like different textured hair to know how to style it. But basically if you don't have 4C hair or if you don't have wavy beachy hair and your hair is a mix cause you a mutt, nice to meet you. I'm gonna show you guys how I, with my mixed textured hair, do my hair after I get the rest of the shampoo out of my hair. Um, a BRB. So when you first get out, I always like wring out a lot of the moisture out of it. And then the first thing I do is I brush it because it'll still be moist enough that it'll hold the um, curls and it'll still hold the curl pattern um, and everything. And I don't wanna like ruin my curls. Um, so I brush it out with a wide tooth comb. I can't find mine. So I have a wide tooth comb. I have two. I have one that's one that I leave out of the shower, one that I have in the shower. This is one. I'm going to use that. I'm going to brush through my hair. Sometimes I use this one. Oh my God, I'm disgusting. I just leave my hair in it. I don't, I'm nasty. Okay. I'm disgusting. My grandmother was here. She would be very upset with me. Okay. Brush through my hair. I do that first. And then I go in with the magic of all magics. Once I discovered this, game changer. Miss Jessie, multicultural curls. This, this is, this is it. This is, this is heaven above. This is like any, if you are not, if you're a mutt, if your family is the United Nations, this is what you need, honestly. Miss Jessie's multicultural curls. This is it. This is what you go out, buy it. It's like $13. It lasts a long time. I know it comes in plastic, but you need it. You need it because it holds your curls. It holds your curls straight out the shower. It holds your curls the next day. It, it's, it's everything, okay? Miss Jessie's has a lot of stuff too if your hair pattern is different, but for mixed girls or any anybody else, try it because it was the only thing because I figured out a couple years ago that like n normal hair products like mass marketed European style or like American style products weren't working for my hair texture when I started more deciding to wear it natural. And um, a lot of people in my family have my hair texture but everyone straightens and blow dries and presses their hair and no one told me how to wear it natural. So I wasn't taught those things. So no one told me how to like wear my hair natural um, or what to use or any of those types of things because everybody, my family decided that having natural curly hair looked unkept, you know? Um, which for me, I'm just lazy. 
And I like curly hair. I like big fluffy hair and I like my hair. So I just decided to be me and rock it. So I was on a journey about two years of trying to figure out how to do my hair, how to get the frizz down, how to do all these things. And so I started trying um, hair products for different textures and I went to like the opposite end of the spectrum. I tried like the hair mayonnaise. I had tried all those things, but they were all too heavy for my hair texture because my hair was still lighter than that hair texture. So I ended up having to give a lot of that stuff away to my friends because it just didn't work out for me. Um, because everything just started weighing down my curls more. Um, and so it was like either it didn't help enough or it was helping too much. And I couldn't find something that was in the middle until I heard about Miss Jessie's multicultural curls. It was not spawn because I'm a flop. No one sponsors me. But Miss Jessie's, if you would like to send me some, you don't have to pay me. But if you want to send me some, this is kind of expensive. I would love that. I would love that. Um, this stuff really, really helped me out. Um, and so I, I love it. It's a godsend. It's amazing. Um, the other thing that was important for me to learn that nobody in my family told me was about brushing your hair from the bottom up. Sure didn't know that one. I was losing a lot more hair than I was already losing because I saw people on TV brushing their hair like this. I didn't know you're supposed to brush it from the bottom up because it was just yanking constantly. I saved so much more time brushing this way and going up, you know? Um, so those are just all things that I've had to like learn. And I couldn't find a lot of videos about it. But that's one of those things that like people don't understand about representation and like, especially why I like YouTube, because seeing people put videos up like this that are like a little educational, even from like a flop like me, is really helpful because I don't know, you learn things and it helps you because now I save so much more time and even like having a blow dryer, I never owned a blow dryer before because anytime I would blow dry my hair, it would just make my hair so poofy and I didn't like it like that. And having a diffuser on a blow dryer, I was like, oh, that's what that weird thing is for. And so I got a blow dryer, you know? And so it's like, it makes sense now. So I'm gonna brush my hair out and then I'm gonna use show you guys how much of this stuff I put in while it's wet and I'll check back in. Okay, so I'm gonna get the Miss Jessie's and I'm gonna put a bunch on my hand. I'm gonna massage it and I'm just gonna go in and go up and go in and go up and get it from all the way from like the bottom to the root. And I go up from the back too. My curliest hair is in the back, so it's like the part that doesn't get the most mistreated. <laughs> I might need more. Woo. Okay, okay, okay. Oh my god, I just got it in my eye. Just get it all in there. Oh. So in an interesting turn of events, my towel fell and the camera died at the same time. But um, I just finished putting some in. I might have to put some more in, I'm not sure. Um, it looks a mess. <laughs> but I'm going to grab my blow dryer, which I got from Walmart because that's who I am as a person. So it's this Revlon one with the diffuser. I think it was under 30 bucks. Um, and I usually pick it up and put hair up into it hold it here for a bit and then I flip my head over and pull it up and do this a couple times. I'll try to show you guys. I'm not wearing pants, I just put a shirt on. Okay, here we are. <laughs> Um, here, I'll go in front of the ring light. I'm gonna stomp, stomp, stomp. Put on pants on. So you can see, ooh, this is my hair. Yep, so now it's dry. And you have your natural hair, good to go. It doesn't take much that long, really, to dry. When you air dry curly hair, you know it takes days. Um, but with the diffuser, I don't know what it is, I think because it goes to the root. I mean, it's still a little bit wet. I just got a little impatient. Um, it's a little bit wet right here where it's still pretty dark. 
but um yeah no i love it and it really like holds the curl tomorrow what i would do um is get a spray bottle spray it um if you have curlier hair than me um if you have a a silk um pillowcase that helps with the frizz and everything um or if you have a, like a, a a cap or whatever um that helps but um it'll help maintain but i will spray it tomorrow with water and then hit it again with some more of the Miss Jessie's uh, cream and then do this thing again where you just kind of like bunch it up towards the top. Um, and then if it's a little too wet or whatever, I'll hit it again with the blow dryer and then everything will be fine. But this is basically your hair looking like a whole ass Shakira. Um, lole, lole, lole. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm done. That's basically where I'm going to end today's little vlog video because I feel like this is a good enough informational video content thing for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like this video and subscribe if you liked it, if you liked me, if you found this video informational, if you hated it, let me know in the comments down below. I don't care. I really, I really don't. I, I don't care. Let me know. Either way, you liked it, you hate it, whatever. See you guys in the next video. Bye! I can't believe I did a Shakira impression. Whatever. Whenever, forever, we're meant to be together. I'll be there and you'll be here. I'm shaking the camera. Man.